Hi, we're Sherry and John from Antiglamp, and we're at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show, also known as the Tampa RV Super Show. And we are in the coachman section, and we came across a really unique find. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely. Uh, my name's Peter. I'm with Grazini's RV World out of Lakeland, and happy to introduce you guys to the totally revamped Coachman Concord. <clears throat> so... If you'd like to see this, we have a, a beautiful high-end, class C, full body paint, side cameras, all the bells and whistles, and uh, much, much more. There are some really unique features about this RV, and we can't wait to give you a tour. So thank you very much. Thank you for catching us and showing this to us, and uh, let's go. This is the 2023 Coachman Concord. I'm going to give you a tour of the outside first, the inside, and then you'll do my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and a build quality rating. Let's go. Now, this is reissued for 2023. It took a leave of absence for four years, and they brought it back strong this year. Up front, we have the E450 chassis. This has the 7.3 liter V8 engine with 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. As we move back, we have side view cameras right here. Up front, where you can see everything down the road and these wonderful, huge mirrors. As we move back, this is an almost full-length awning. It goes all the way to the slide. Here, we have your outdoor entertainment system with sound bar. Okay, John, I'm gonna jump in here. Yes. I like the height of that. It's low, isn't it? You're it's where you sit. Here? Yes, yeah. it is, it's right there. Under here, look at the size of that. That's pretty nice. Oh, sorry. Don't hurt yourself, John. I am hurting the plants. <laughs> Don't hurt them either. Are I won't real? hurt the plants. Beyond the door, we have your, your heater, your water heater. This has a tankless water heating system. Oh, snap. More large storage, which is also passed through. Wait a minute, John. Isn't that a USB over there and a... Uh... And a 12 volt, yes. It has a power supply in there. We move back, your fuel, and more storage. And what do we have here, Sherry? More storage. And there oh, are two bins here, so two it has, plastic bins. I've seen these like in vans and other things, but it has these deep storage bins. Yes. And it passes all the way through. Well, that's pretty neat. That is neat. And John, did you tell everyone what the length of this model was? what the model number was, in case they're interested. This is the 32 IDS, which is 32 feet, nine inches long. Good thing you told them that in case anybody's interested. Yes. Now we have no rear ladder on this unit. There is your backup camera. Here is your hitch. The other side of your storage. your heater, and a power cord reel. Wow, John. And this, even though it's a Class C, it's a 50 amp service. There's your wet bay for your black tank. More storage, as if we don't have enough. Hey, John, I'm going to back up for just a minute because I really like this paint. Okay. Steam. So I just want folks to be able to see the, the whole side of it. This is full body paint. So you got slide toppers up there on top? You do. Here is your Onan 4000. More storage. 
your propane. And... <laughs> so I don't know if that's actually meant to be for trash, but uh, okay. That's different. Um, they have, we'll see on the inside, but this Oh, is, I know what that is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome, John. <laughs> I'm not, don't tell them. Don't tell them, say, John, don't say, tell them. I won't say. Oh my gosh, <laughs> see, that's wild. I knew you'd remember. Now, we're gonna go around on, and see the inside. I'm stuck. <laughs> don't get stuck. Okay. To the driver's seat. Because that's where I always go first. This is a typical Ford layout. It's very nice. I like the carbon fiber touches here. Also, you have your CarPlay right here and your Android Auto right here on the uh, center screen. Your heating, USB. Oh, it has USB-C for you folks in the future. And we have uh, three cup holders up here as well. It looks like you have a little storage compartment down there too. Yeah, it's a small one. Yep. Let's uh, take a look at the living space. Okay, John, this living space is awesome. Do you mind if I do it? I would love it. I am so excited. <laughs> she is so excited, people. Okay, folks, I am so excited about the living space inside this RV. John, let's switch it around. Okay. I don't want to give any sneak peeks. You can come a little closer if you want. Okay, that's good. Okay, so here we have our living area. We have these really nice recliners here. And you know what makes these recliners extra? Oh, that's so good. You know what makes these? <laughs> this is really comfortable. So these are recliners. Right now the power is off, but uh, it's, it's power recliners. And this also has heat. And it looks like it has a massage as well, John. Wow. And I've got to tell you, this just feels so soft and so comfortable. Here in your armrest, you have USBs right here, and it's deep enough. This is really amazing. Okay. Now, I should also point out across from the recliners, you have your television. And we're going to come back over here because you have lots and lots and lots of cabinet space. <laughs> that is roomy. And you can pass through for some of it. If you want to take a look at that, John, and see. Oh, yes. There is pass through in the back there. Yep. Okay, next we're going to go to our dining area. This is a very unique table for a Class C RV. In fact, it's one that I have never, ever seen before. So the way that this works, it extends. It actually extends. So you lift this up. Much like you would a leaf table at home, there's a little latch here, you disconnect it, and you just pull this right out, and look, you've got a little bit of extra room for your table. I'm going to put it in because it's a tight space, but that's pretty neat. I really, really, really like that. Also has four chairs here, comes with a strap to keep them together as you're moving along down the road. This is a really cool feature. Over here we have some additional storage, small. But still, um, your sound bar for your TV, and then a little more storage on this side. Okay, now this feature is what's truly amazing. I took off my jacket for this, but this is an amazing feature. Come back with me, John. This RV, I have never seen this in any other RV, but this RV has a sidebar beverage system. You can put in your whiskey, vodka, scotch, gin, rum. I don't drink all that stuff, but I can see why this would be really appealing to lots of people. And if we come around to the side here, this is how you have access to it. You have your storage up here, but down here are the hoses to put into your, your bottles or containers or whatever you might have your alcohol in. That I found was super cool. You have some additional storage over here as you walk in the door. I think it's a pretty cool place to put your shoes if you want to. Oh, we already did that one. And then down here you have your light switches and your, addition, your inverter and some additional controls. Now, that's pretty cool. But take a look at this kitchen, guys. This kitchen is pretty amazing. So 
If you don't have enough alcohol in your bar, you can store some additional alcohol right here in your wine cooler. Got a drawer above that. Now, you notice we opened a door when we were on the outside that had a trash can in it, and this is why. Underneath this cover is a trash can that leads to the outside, <laughs> which I love, right? Because then it's so easy. I would like it if we were on the other side, but that's okay because when John goes out to dump and do all the other stuff, he can also take out the trash. Hey, thanks. <laughs> right here is your charger. We've got your induction cooktop, convection microwave, and some more storage down here. What was in that drawer, Sherry? Well, if you really must know, it's probably your outdoor shower. It is. Okay, yeah, it's a little dusty there. Over here, over the sink, some additional storage. I really like this sink, John. This is a nice sink. It's deep, it's wide, plenty of space. But you don't need a lot in this sink, John. Do you know why? Why, Sherry? Because <laughs> underneath the sink, you have your very own dishwasher. Is this even a Class C? This is a Class C, folks. <laughs> a Class C. Okay, so, oh, and there's an additional, some additional storage right under here. So, John, now that I've had fun <laughs> you love this in the part. kitchen, and the dining room. I'll let you take over. You can do the fridge on on. I can do the fridge because it's just a refrigerator, folks. After all of that, we have a Furion refrigerator. Now, the only thing is, it opens this way. <laughs> and it doesn't switch. Uh, why is it? Oh, it's locked for travel. And I'm not sure how to unlock it. So, well, I think we all know what a freezer looks like, yeah, John. We know I think we're good. There's like. a good amount of space in that refrigerator. Let's keep going back. What else we got? We have a door here to separate you from your bathroom area. Okay, so the living area from the, like the bedroom bathroom area. Right. Well, there are two uh, doors, as a matter of fact. There is one. No, Actually, they're not. There's not. I thought there was on the diagram. Oh, John. What? You know what it is? What? Stand right there. Yeah. Sort of. Nah, that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, it does. Magnet. The magnets. So I don't yeah. know if I like that. It's I not really a you door. You don't like the, yeah. Well, because if you want privacy in your bedroom, John, and you yeah. close that, yeah, that's, then... That's all you get. What if I have to go to the bathroom? But I'm using the bathroom. With the door open? Yes, because I have this door. Oh, John, that's really cool. See, okay. I'm in the bathroom now. Gotcha. Okay, let's take a look at this bathroom. All right. And here we have your toilet. And it is ceramic, of course, porcelain. I like the sink, the way they did this in the corner here. I'm not too sure about these lights, though. Yeah. Oh, that's that's actually a skylight. Oh, that's the clouds, There's I guess. There's a flag outside. Oh, that's the flag, okay. Yeah, the okay. display flags. Now, here in the bathroom, we have very large storage doors. Look at this. You have this shelf, this large shelf, Above that, you have two more large deep shelves. And there is the actual light. And behind the toilet, a medicine cabinet. So let's slide over here. Well, we still have these controls here, John. Do you want to talk Oops. a little bit about the controls over here? Is this, this RV falling apart on us? Uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, you have here your precision circuits panel. You have your generator controls here, your slide controls, and your lights, and your water pump, and your tank heaters, and a Wi-Fi switch. Look at that. On this side is your shower. Hop on in. And you hop in here. It's got a little sort of fake brick surface here. A couple of small shelves and a Is there enough dish. space in there for you? It is a little short. Do you feel comfortable? Short. What about if you turn like facing the shower? Yeah, it is a Close little. Close the door, let's see it's how It's very that... narrow. Is that tight? A little bit, yes. You'd have to stay at an angle, sort of. And how tall are you, John? I'm five six. Okay, so Not if anyone's tall. much bigger than you, it might be a little challenging. Yeah, I okay. mean, yeah. 
I was talking about from side to side too. Yeah. All right, John, why don't you show us the bedroom here? Yeah, let's go to the bedroom. Is there a light in here that we can turn on? There is. And it didn't come on. Is the light not working? Okay, well, that's okay. You can still tell us all about it. Hold on. There. That's better. Okay. We have in this bedroom a king size adjustable bed. Also, three windows, lots of light coming in. Here we have your wardrobe, and we have a matching one on the opposite side of the television. But this is what makes this Class C amazing. Yet again, one more feature. A combo washer-dryer. That's sweet, John. In the middle, we have three drawers. Very deep, very large. And on the other side, we have some shelving below the wardrobe. Oh, that's a good amount of space down there. It is. It's a lot of room. Mm -hmm. And what's, let's see, the wardrobe is the same as it's the other one? It's the same as the other one. Yep. His and hers. And the bed does not have end tables, but it does have a small shelf. Oh, there are end tables here. Oh, it is. I didn't see them. Sorry. The see. bed has end tables with. 12 volt and USB. See? <laughs> Above the bed, we have these pass through storage. We now, is there a CPAP uh, drop down there? There is not a CPAP, but the shelving next to the bed is big enough for the. Um, my CPAP would fit there. Okay. So it would fit right next to the bed. Okay, John, well, this has been nice. That's this good. has been very unique. I really enjoyed touring this RV. I believe now it is time for our pet peeve, favorite, favorite feature, feature, and build quality rating. Let's do that outside where there's a little bit more light. Yes, let's go. John, what is your pet peeve? Oh my gosh, this thing, it's hard because this Class C is amazing. And I couldn't see anything. I mean, from the tankless water heater to the, the bar, uh, the wine cool. I, I can't think of anything I don't like. Okay, here's a first. John doesn't have a pet peeve, but I do have a favorite feature. And that is, I think this RV is perfect for entertaining. I love the fact that it has the bar, it has the wine cooler, and it has a dishwasher. Those are luxury items that I don't think you normally find in something this size. So I'm really glad that Coachman brought back the Concorde. Yes, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a small package, pretty much. I mean, compared to other RVs, it's nice. Now, John, let's talk about the build quality. Yes. There were a couple of things that I found, not a whole lot. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, wait, I do have a pet peeve. What? I have a pet peeve. I don't like the way the doors are. I think it would have been just as easy to put a sliding door between the bedroom and the bathroom ah, or yes. some sort of a, do a door so that you could uh, close that bathroom door to make a door, a real kind of door for the bedroom area. Right. Um, I've seen a lot of RVs do that, so that, right. that's my pet peeve. So I, I put one in there for you. Okay, build quality <laughs> rating, you. John. There are a couple of things that I found. Uh, one is the cabinets above the recliner uh, weren't installed very well, and every time you close the center one, the whole thing shakes. Um, yeah. What do you have? Well, in the bedroom, I noticed the cabinets above the bed, the, the hinges aren't strong enough to keep the door open, so you have to hold it open if you want access to it, because it will just close. And we found some random stuff that just kind of fell off. Yeah, there was some handle, I think, in there for something, a little plastic handle that we didn't know where it went. But overall, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good quality coach. Okay, John, so what do you say for the build quality rating? I'd say it's an eight. I, th I think that's fair. I mean, the things that we saw were little things, nothing yeah. major. So, yeah, I'd give it an eight. Out of ten. Maybe a 7.5. Okay. No, but it's got some cool stuff. An eight. It's got cool an eight. Stuff. Yeah. Okay, I give it an eight out of ten. That's it for this one. It's on to the next one, and you can check out more RV reviews right there. Yes. Or there. No.